In this tutorial, I will show you how to make 2D looking ocean in Blender. So there are two ways you can make 2D looking ocean or Studio Ghibli style looking ocean. First is using Fresnel or Fresnel node and second is two layer method. So I learned the two layer method from Olaf Storm's tutorial. You can check his video, link will be in the description and to his channel, full credit to him. Now Olaf's tutorial was in C4D. I am just translating his C4D tutorial to Blender. And the second method is Fresnel node method, which I figured it out while just messing around with the nodes. So let's jump into Blender. So here we are in fresh new Blender scene. We don't need this cube. So we'll delete it. Press Shift A, Mesh, then Plane. Now we don't need any subdivisions in here. So we'll keep it like this. Go to Modifiers tab and then add ocean so we don't need any subdivisions on the plane because we are not displacing the actual geometry we are just generating the simulation or the ocean in the planes domain so that is why we don't need any subdivisions now we will just repeat it two to three times so most of these parameters are self-explanatory but i will go through some of these so repeat is how many times you want to repeat the geometry so you can see I'm just repeating on the X direction here three times just to make it larger and on the Y axis. Okay. Resolution is your resolution of your actual ocean. The higher the number, the more detailed your ocean will look, but it will be even more slower. So we'll keep it at seven. Now time is where you will actually see your ocean in motion. Wow. <laughs> So we'll go to frame 0, add 0 and then insert keyframe, go to our last keyframe and then set 10 and insert another keyframe. Now you will see it moves. Okay, so we'll clear right now. Now depth is how deep your ocean is. We will keep it at 200. The lower the number, the shallower your water will be. Now, spatial size and size actually confuses you. Both names are same. Now, size is, is the scale of your actual ocean. Just the way we scale objects in edit mode or object mode. But the spatial size actually defines your ocean in meters. So, there you are. This is now just 10 meter by 10 meter ocean. But this, this actually scales the whole geometry. Okay. So we'll make it 20 meters wide. This will do. So now we go to waves. And this is the scale of the waves. How high the waves will be. Keep it at around 1. The choppiness, how your peaks look. Higher is the value, the more the mesh will intersect each other. You don't want to keep it at very high value. Less than 1.3 is good. The smallest wave means smallest wave that can be generated. If value is kept too high, only big waves will form. Now alignment means how your waves will be aligned. Now at full one, all the waves will be aligned to each other. And now direction defines the direction of your alignment. We'll make minus 90 because we want to make the direction this way because x in or y is in this direction minus y first we will add a keyframe here add 0 again we will replace keyframe because we don't have auto key on and then we go to 250 and enter time 10 and insert keyframe so now when you see this all the waves are aligned to each other. Now damping will damp your waves. You can just see. Now, now the waves are intersecting with each other. So we will scale down the waves and uh, this looks good. Bring down the choppiness. And uh, this looks fine. 
so we are done with this now we will rename it we will call it ocean okay first i will show you the two layer method now we will shift d to duplicate right click to place it back to where it was I forgot to turn on my screen cast keys sorry for that so i will do this again select your ocean shift d and then right click to place it back where it was now press g then z to constraint on the z axis push it down just a little bit just like that and then first we'll rename this duplicate layer and we will call it peaks now increase the wave height so that it pokes through and we will again go to z g z and pull it out a bit just like that okay now what you want to do is first i will hide it for a moment select my ocean layer and then press i to insert a keyframe and then location to insert only a location keyframe i mean we will go to actually go to 240 and press it again location so that both the keyframes are same and then go to half that is 120 and g then y to constraint on the y axis and then move it um, here and then i and location to set a keyframe okay and we'll have to move this keyframe also to 240 now done so this is how it looks right now stops and then goes back okay let's go to our graph editor by pressing control tab and then by location and this is where the problem is press T to busier I will turn off these and then So now we, when we go back to our ocean, it looks something like this. So with this done, copy the frames and I will just paste it in my ocean peaks. Hover your mouse in the timeline, on the timeline and paste it. And oops, we'll do it again. Shift D, right click, G, Z, move down, scale the waves, adjust again, and that's it. Now you play back. So now with this done, let's go to our shader tab, shader editor. Now select our ocean original ocean press new and we have this principal psdf we don't need this so we'll delete it and press shift a shader and emission shader now why we want emission shader to make it look 2d because we don't want any shadow or occlusion shadow in our ocean even if this diffuse shader Will cause an occlusion shadow so that is why we won't use this now connect this to surface and pick yeah this color we do we'll rename this ocean and we'll go back to look dev mode and i will turn off the overlays so you can see already it's coming nicely and same for the ocean peaks delete Press Shift A, Shader, and then Emission Shader. Same thing, rename, and then I'll pick this color and just desaturate it. Let it higher. Okay, so now this is how it looks.
so this is your two layer method this uses a lot of geometry as you can see we already have 192,000 triangles or 96,000 faces this is too heavy so what we can do is use the Fresnel method or Fresnel method we go back to shader editor and we don't need this select your ocean and press shift a and then converter color ramp and we need another node input and Fresnel plug it into factor before we connect to color I just want to place my cursor over here press ctrl c and then ctrl v to paste it and then select this and again ctrl v and we'll just then make this so now we plug this into color and there you are now you see the Fresnel node is picking the white color of this node on the peaks so change this interpolation to constant and everything disappears but move this slider back and now you see the 2D looking streaks or lines or whatever you want to call it ok so the only drawback of this method is you can't see from the top it only works from an angle because obviously because we are using Fresnel Fresnel uses your objects boundaries or edges to define whatever you are defining and in this scene we are defining the ocean peaks or waves through Fresnel so that is why when we see from the top there is no edges we can define we are only seeing directly on the waves so this method is useful if you have a static camera in your scene you are not moving anywhere or you are just panning on just one axis you are not moving your camera up or down this way your motion will stay like this now we can do one more thing here add control and click and add darker shade just a little bit and adjust this works yes so this is how it looks So if you want to do the background as well, all you need to do is go to your vault tab, press shift A and shader, oh sorry, texture and then gradient texture and we need another color lamp, plug this in, plug this into color, need space and so we go to our rendering tab press shift a input texture coordinate press shift a vector mapping generated to vector this is how it looks we will rotate like this minus 90 and then move on the x axis just a little bit ok so now it looks something like this let me maximize this window and plate so there you have it your 2d looking ocean i hope this helps you in your projects i will see you in the next video till then goodbye